Caesar learned through empirical data, just like our progressives have learned through empirical data, that the way you can um, fool people is by keeping them entertained and keeping them fed. As long as they've got food in their belly, as Aristotle stated, and this was well before Caesar, as Aristotle stated, the, the, two, the two things that drive people to revolt, one is starvation, if there's not enough food, then people will you know, revolt if they can't eat. And the second thing is when they realize that the, uh, the government is making, uh, getting rich or making all of their money at the expense of their toil and labor. Which is definitely occurring right now. Well, sure. <laughs> and that's one of the things that causes people to, uh, you know, to I mean, look you know, at, start, you know, start speaking out look, against. Well, look at Washington, D.C. The eight richest counties or seven richest counties are right around the D.C. capital sure. area. Right so there. all these people are getting rich at the people's expense. I get it. Right. The Beltway Bandits. Right. But they learned a long time ago that they had to kind of keep that reasonable and so what do they do to keep that reasonable? They create propaganda and get you focused on something else. As you know, the richest uh, counties are around Washington, D.C., but when you hear it in the news, who are the greedy people? It's the capitalists and the CEOs. You go after them. Yeah. But the CEOs and these capitalists are actually creating jobs and they're being productive and they're being rewarded for their productivity. But what are these rich people in Washington, D.C.? They're bureaucrats and lobbyists yeah. throwing tax money around. And they love cheap in, labor. In the, <laughs> in, the, in the tune of trillions of dollars. And they're far worse than CEOs are. CEOs have to have a, um, a social responsibility because you will not survive in today's world if you don't have a good social responsibility policy. You uh, treat people poorly, whether you're racist, sexist, or what have you, you'll be ran out of business because the, the media will destroy you and people will not spend money there. But you don't have that choice. Corporations do not have the ability to point guns at you and take your money. Government does.